you wound up becoming an extra on literally like one of the most successful shows in television history, Friends. So how did that happen? Oh, my gosh. Great story. I love this story. Um, so my friend kept her word. She said, if you move out here, I will help you get started. I'll help show you the ropes. And she sure did. And she was like, OK, listen, you're going to go sign up to be an extra and you're going to go to central casting. And that's where they cast all the extras for all the TV shows and movies. And she's like, you're going to see a line of people standing outside all the way out the door, down the block. And they're all waiting to be an extra. I don't want you to wait in line. OK, I mm -hmm. want you to go to the store, get a tray of cookies and I want you to bring your Raider at headshot and I want you to go straight through the doors to the front window and you tell the lady that you're here to see Sam. And when Sam comes out, I want you to give him the cookies and give him your headshot. And I want you to tell him you're new to town and you want to be an extra. That's it. And I was like, girl, this sounds real sleazy. Like this <laughs> sounds like all the casting couch stories that I've heard that you don't want to be a part of. Like, what are you doing? And she's hey, like, Sam, take a look at my cookies. You no, know, exactly. Don't get no funfetti cookies. And I'm like, OK, what's funfetti cookies? Is that code word for something? Like, what? why I got to see your funfetti cookies? And she's like, just get jacket chip. So um, I show up at Central Casting. I have my tray of cookies, my sleazy cookies, my bribe. I'm walking past all these people. It's like they, I could tell that they know what I'm doing. I'm like, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm just no. doing what I have to do. I'm trying it's to do what you think. <laughs> so I go through, I go to the front door and I talk to the woman at the window and I'm like, hi, I'm here to see Sam. She's like, OK, he'll be right out. And uh, here through the doors walks this guy, Sam, and he's wearing a Raiders hat. Now, keep in mm. mind, he had just come off the Super Bowl, maybe like a month ago. And so he's wearing a Raiders hat. And here I am with my tray of cookies and my Raiderette headshot. Peter. And he's like, hey, what's up? And I'm like, oh, hi, I'm new to town and I wanted to be an extra. These are for you. And this is for you. And I hand him my Raiderette headshot. And he's like, Raiders, no way. And he's like flipping out. And he's like, yeah, we'll get you signed up. Don't even worry about it. He calls me like three days later. And he's like, hey, do you want to be an extra on Friends? And I was like, uh, my favorite show of all time. Yeah, wow. yeah, I do want to be an extra on Friends. And so immediately, uh, that's my first job is I'm an extra on my favorite show of all time. And I remember walking onto the set and seeing the guy's apartment, the girl's apartment, Central Park, the coffee shop. It was so magical. I can still smell the soundstage today. Like it just, it feels mm -hmm. so magical. Like the dreamer inside of me wakes up, you know? And I think about that time and, and just walking on. And I was nobody, I was an extra. Like extras are not respected. We're like the bottom of the totem pole, but I didn't mm -hmm. care. I wasn't there to be respected. I was there to chase my dreams, to watch and learn. And it was basically like I got to take free class from Jennifer Aniston, Lisa Kudrow, Courtney Cox. I'm watching them make their decisions. I'm watching them uh, communicate with the crew, communicate with the director, communicate with the writers. I'm learning all this new language. I'm, I'm watching and learning from the best of the best. And I ended up being an extra on Friends for seasons nine and ten. And I made friends with the second AD and he was funny. I was funny. We kept making each other laugh. And he's like, I'm going to bring you back tomorrow. I'm like, OK. And then I come back tomorrow and he's like, I'm going to bring you back next week. I'm like, OK. And next thing you know, I come back for the whole season nine and the whole season 10. And it was probably till this day still my most favorite job that I have ever had. And wow. I, I can't believe that I got to be on a part of history to be on that show. And I yeah. can still see me in the background sometimes because I still watch. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, where were you? Where, if I wanted to find you in the background of Friends, where would you be? in the coffee shop and I was in Central Park many times and, you know, just walking in the back and they'll be like, OK, when you hear Joey say, how you doing? Then you walk from the bar over here to this seat over here like that was your cue and stuff. But there's one episode that that people will for sure see me. It's. I don't know if they were like trying to keep it real this one episode, but they're like, how is it that this gang really gets to sit on the couch every single time they come there? Right. Mm -hmm. So there's one episode that they're sitting at the high top table behind the couch because mm -hmm. there's two girls sitting on the couch and I'm one of the girls. Uh -huh. And they had me with like my books out like I'm a college student studying. It was I was pretending to be a lawyer again. I was studying on the couch and that's me. So you could definitely Cheryl, see that. Cheryl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's amazing. That's like being able to audit an acting class, right? By some of the top, most talented actors in the country. Uh, so what fun. And I, I love the way you write about in your book about how they were all your friends. 
or in your mind, at least. Um, yes. But but I, I don't know, like over two years, you must have spent some time with them. And was it a positive experience? Like, you know, the interactions you had with them? Oh, yeah. Uh, incredible. I mean, I got invited to their uh, holiday party, which, you know, being an extra, getting invited to a holiday party, that must mean you're one of the favorites because extras don't get invited to the holiday parties. But I sure right. did. And I I remember just... I would have small interactions with them. I wouldn't try to do the most. Like anytime there was somebody trying to do the most, trying to like strike up a, a strike up a conversation with them, they'd be like, "No, nope, move her out of the way. Please stop talking to Jennifer Aniston." I was never, never to trying again. to do that. Like I was just quiet, minding my own business. And if they spoke to me, I would speak back. Period. And so there would be times like at the craft service table, and I'm just there like getting some snacks. Yeah. I was getting my groceries for the week is what I was doing. Cause I was poor mm-hmm. and I was just making, you know, like a hundred bucks being an extra. So I was like, let me get my groceries, put them in my backpack and take them home. That's <laughs> what I was doing. And then there was one time Lisa Kudrow walks up and she's sitting next to me at the craft service table. And she, she gets this little tea cake. She takes by a tea cake. She's like, Oh, these are good. Right. And I was like, mm-hmm. and that's all she said to me like 20 years ago, she said, mm, these are good. Right. And still, I remember the one time Lisa Kudrow talked to me and said, these are good, right? And that's it. And I said, "Mm mm-hmm, that's it. And I remember my interaction. All she had to do was pay attention, see me. She saw me and that's all I needed. Are the high fuel costs putting a damper on your summer vacay plans? From higher prices at the pump to a jump in airfare, it's getting more expensive to get away for a week. But what if you didn't have to? What if you could just soak up those vacation vibes? year round and the privacy of your own home and property, you can get yourself a Michael Phelps swim spa by Master Spas. Whether you want to stay close to home this summer or you just want to extend your break, a Michael Phelps swim spa by Master Spas can transform your backyard into it. It combines the benefits of a pool with the therapy of a hot tub. It's going to reinvent your family time. You need a little like injection of novelty in your backyard and the way you socialize with your friends and your family. This is it. Michael Phelps Swim Spas by Master Spas come in a variety of sizes that will complement almost any yard. Even if you're like, mine's too small, it'll never fit. It will. It will. And since it's heated, you can use it year round in any climate. Michael Phelps Swim Spas are 100% made in the USA by Master Spas. That's the world's largest swim spa manufacturer. Go to masterspas.com, put in the promo code MK to save $1,000 on a Michael Phelps swim spa or $500 on a Master Spas hot tub. That's masterspas.com, promo code MK. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.